My name is Brigadier General Giselle Wills, and I'm the first female commander of NATO Headquarters Sarajevo. Somebody had to be the first female NATO commander, and I'm okay with, with taking on that role. I've had a, a lot of opportunities to be the first coming from where I came from. So my family, my father, for example, believed I could be a, a general uh, when I was still a young lieutenant and just became captain. He came home with general stars for me kind of threw him at me and said, you'll be a general one day. I, I aspired to the rank of general after I got into the military and realized how much I loved it and how much being a part of it, you can make a difference in people's lives every day. I think there is incredible potential in this country. Uh, it's just a matter of settling into what does really democracy bring you? What is that realization? How does that work with capitalism and investment? And how does that make a nation great? And I don't know that the collective citizen group has really wrapped their arms around it, but there's incredible potential. There are still a lot of wounds from the war from 20 years ago that still exist in political rhetoric. And what that does is it stalemates the process of reform. And I spent a lot of time trying to influence so kind of just-in-time engagements to push through minor reforms or thought processes to provide advice, to kind of share NATO's perspective on how they're doing, how they're not doing uh, at a very high level. Took a lot of support from, from NATO and the international community, but today it's one armed forces of Bosnia-Herzegovina. If you believe in something, go after it and fight more for the opportunity. And then every time you get an opportunity, do the best that you can do, be the best you can be, uh, because that will determine whether you get the next opportunity. So don't worry about so much about being the first or the next. Take advantage of every opportunity. Do the best your ability and the next opportunity will come.